Hello everyone, what is going on? It's Attic, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy IV. In the last episode, Ian guest starred, and I have no idea. Uh, oh yes, he also became a paladin, and Tella learned about everything. And I literally mean everything. I mean, he knows all white magic spells. Hell, you're in full life, and that, and you remember what full life does. You're in Karaja. Now, of course, we know he knows Bio. He even has Meteor. Problem is, he will never get the MP to use it. It's kind of sad, really. So... I might as well head back into the city and use the inn. I mean, it's not really going to be a problem. Skip time. And okay. <laughs> I love doing that. I think we restocked on some potions and whatnot. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we stocked up on some potions. Uh, yeah. Uh... Anyway. Sorry, I'm like, out of it right now. It's just... It's been one of those days. Oh yeah, that's right, the Devil's Road. Damn it. This is the Devil's Road. If I'm correct... Which apparently, in my case, I'm not. That's uh, right. Whee! And we're gone. And now I'm right. <laughs> Aha. Around here somewhere there's a secret entrance. Because, unless I'm horribly mistaken, but hey, what do you know? Okay. So, I would honestly save right now because you're really going to need to. Strange monk. Who do we know that's a monk? Gee, little girl. Young! Mm. It's me, Cecil. Cecil. Baron's that turn traitor. Seize him! Yes, sir. Ah, crap. Like, you want to kill these guys quick. Because they can kind of with like mini, I think. Yep. You really want to put them out of their mystery, Casa Paraga. <laughs> Yawn! What are you doing? You insolent wretch! Yes, now we gotta fight Yon, and you must survive! Dog! Tell her you suck. And 
skeleton. Ugh. Yeah, see? Sizzle. What just happened? I've delivered the cactus. I can't remember anything. Obviously, you suffered a slight case of amnesia and were being used by Baron. Where are Rydia and Edward? Rydia was swallowed by Leviathan. What? Edward, I don't know. <laughs> Where are we? In Baron. Let's go elsewhere so we can discuss everything in private. And now we have Young back! Sweet! I don't think there was really any armor you really needed to get for him if you kept his stuff. Okay, let's plot this stuff. Now we know who's who. Young, this is Tilla. His daughter and Edward his daughter and Edward were My daughter loved him enough to sacrifice her life for him. I'm sorry for your loss. I am young of Babu. I'm the prodigy of Mysidia. My name's Palom. I can't believe you are so, you are oblivious to so much. No, he is right. Forgive my actions. Well, first things first, we have to find Sid. Sneaking into the castle won't be easy. Hmm? What is this? This is the Baron Key. Of course, they must have given it to you when they gave you command of those guards. With this key, I believe we'll be able to find Sid. Yeah, and go through a very rigorous dungeon, too. Oh, the joys. <laughs> so, after a good rest up, I think Tell is still dead. Nope, he's alive. Alright. Well, the leather garb seems to be the best for him. I like giving him the fire claws because they're just awesome. Also, now that you have the Baron Key, you can now unlock the uh, armor and weapon shop, but somehow these guys are in there. If you also noticed, secret passage. And they don't even carry her back here, too. They're just like, yep, I'm oblivious to it. Oh, we're gonna rage the Zeus. But in the after use, you can't go back there because you can go back there at only a certain point of time. Okay, choice of headbands, not good. Oh, four Kenpo Gis. Eh, I guess I could get one silver armlet. I do have some things I need to sell anyway, so. Let's see, Thunder Rod. Do better for those two. Healing staff we already have. Claws. Alright, let's sell some things. Uh, to be honest, we no longer need the staff or the bow. The crossbow we will still need, and the iron arrows can just go too. Leather caps can go. Feather caps you may want to keep all of. Leather garbs. Get rid. Clothes. Gone. Guy gear. Other guy gear we accidentally got. <laughs> gone. Bard's tunic. Gone. I really don't think we need one. I don't really don't think we actually need any of this stuff. Or at least the rest of it, that is. And you can get rid of the healing staff if you, uh, I mean, if you want, you can give it to Palum, or, no, Porum, not bad. But, uh, that's up to your choice, I'm just gonna sell it. I do want to keep one of the claws. I mean, having the claws is good and all, but having both of them, not so good. Okay, uh, first, let me sort my items. And head back over to the fence, and... That's right. Uh, yeah. We can also sell the ruby rings too, because we really do not need those. I 
believe we just got what? A iron ring? I just got a thousand for selling those ruby rings. That's really good. Uh, no one needs a silver armlet, but now we need four Kenpogies. So... Okay. I'm going to go... Uh... Grind some money, so... I shall be right back. Give me a moment. You know, it just actually came to my attention that... The monsters here suck. Oh yeah, this is Sid's house, by the way. I thought this was the Devil's Road. But I'm gonna head all the way back over toward Mysidia and grind money there, so I shall be right back. And I'm back. And now we have enough gear to buy everything we need. AKA the four Kenpogies. <laughs> so, watch as we go through the Devil's Road faster than before! That was awesome. Bah. Yeah, I don't think the inn here actually costs that much. Hopefully it doesn't. Oh, it's like 50. Sweet. Okay, now I have the money to get everything. Jeez. <laughs> well, I left a 60 gil, but hey, what do you know? Actually, you know what? I actually think the Gaia gear would work a lot better for these guys. I mean, they do need the magic, but not only like the magic, but they do need the defense, but eh, oh well. At least I get something to sell. Yeah, this I got a refund of 6,000. Can't argue with that. Alright, so I think we're good with health and magic. Yep, we are. Okay, let's go into the dungeon of which I'm talking about, which is right here. Oh, I hate this place. Oh, no. Go back up there. Secret passage. For a thousand gil. <laughs> this place is a pain for me. Because the monsters here suck. I guess since we have Tella, it doesn't really matter. There's really no point to that bridge. Oh, oh yeah, I figured out a run away button. Thanks to Ian. I think I mentioned that in the last episode though. Ah well. I'm not dealing with you. I just don't want to deal with you. Uh, I hate 
hate this place. Ah. Kind of like an anaconda. Nah, anaconda. The hilarity. Okay, we got a cramp, so it doesn't matter. actually nothing in that other room over there. It was just like a little stupid room. I thought it was a sick pass right there. That was a sick pass right down here though. Uh uh. Really? Ugh. Form? Why? Why are there barren guards down here? And we got another other. sword, yes. For those of you that actually really don't know, the ancient sword actually allows the enemy to become cursed. And in our case, we really need that now. Oh, safe points, I love them so. And seeing as we're out of tents, we gotta use cottages. Actually kinda look funny. So, will they will Cecil and the gang find Sid? Find out next time in the next episode of Final Fantasy IV. This is Eric, signing off. See you guys later.